the process of science is human endeavor, and as such can take on a reality TV flavor just as any human interaction. For now, let's review the timeline for the discovery of the microscope as it relates to the cell theory. It starts with being able to see cells. Janssen, Van Leeuwenhoek, and Robert Hooke first developed microscopes and began looking at the microscopic world. Hooke's microscope is like the ones we use today, using light with focusing knobs. He viewed cork and in doing so he coined the word cell. Now we know that he was not actually seeing cells but the cell walls of the plant. Next comes the understanding that all living things are made of cells. Schwann saw this in animal cells and about the same time Schleiden saw this in plant cells. The next part of the cell theory is that cells come from pre-existing cells. For Chow takes the work of another man, Robert Remack, and is credited with this part of the cell theory. Why Remack was Jewish and while unjust he was prevented from being a part of the scientific community. Next is the development of the electron microscope in the 1950s. This microscope magnifies cells a hundred thousand times to the light microscope thousand times. This advance allows the world to see the internal cell, the nucleus, the mitochondria, and other cell parts. There is still more to know and understand about the cell, but maybe you'll be the next important cell biologist on this timeline.